Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over how to edit the site on mobile. Um, mobile design and development is really important. More and more people are coming in, coming onto a site uh, using the mobile phones. So you want to make sure the site loads fast on mobile but also looks good on mobile. Um, and Elementor really make it easy using their uh, mobile builder. Um, so what you want to do is once the site is built, uh, uh, on desktop then you want to switch the viewport to mobile mode so what you want to so you want to do that is come to this bottom bar here click on uh, responsive mode and click on the two sections here so you've got right now it's in desktop tablet and mobile and you want to if you click onto the mobile section you can see the viewport changes and you can see what the mobile uh, looks like um, so by default everything kind of stacks one on top of the other um, but what you can do with Elementor is you can hide certain sections on mobile and you can reverse columns on mobile uh, meaning you can slightly change the layout as well so for example if we uh, take this section here so this section is a two column section um, with the te text all on the left column and the image at the, at the right column so it's stacked one of a top, on top of each other but if I were to go into section and then go into advanced and go into responsive what I can do is I can reverse those columns on mobile if I toggle that yes you can see that the image has moved the, imi the column with the image has moved up and the column with the text has moved down so if you prefer that on mobile you can uh, set it to that section here or if you decide actually I don't want the image column at all on mobile what you would do is click on the column and go into advanced go into responsive and click hide on mobile so now when I hide the editor you can see that the image column has fully disappeared um, and the section here is still visible so it just looks like it's just actually a one section a uh, one column section and you can do that with all the sections that you have and all the widgets. If I were to click on this heading widget here, go into settings, advanced, uh, responsive, I can actually choose to hide that on mobile as well. And you can see it's sort of with the editor open, it's faded out. So you can still edit it if you need to. But if I were to hide that, then uh, that title is now hidden on mobile. Um, you can do that with entire sections as well if you decide there's a full section that you want to show. Um, but it's not on... Uh, desktop or tablet then you can choose to hide it uh, on desktop and tablet and then have it show on mobile so different things that you can do as well um, and you can add new sections this way um, so it's up to you how you want to style that but essentially if you wanted to test it on mobile you just go into the mobile site and then see what it would look like same with tablet if you were to click on the tablet um, you can see it's a wider slightly wider viewport but still smaller than desktop and again, you can do things like if you click on the section, go into responsive, you can reverse the, the columns on tablet, um, or you can hide, fully just hide sections on tablet as well. So you would go through and see how that looks and change uh, different sections as well. What you, can, what you can do as well is actually change col ta uh, column width. So if I were to go into this section here, by default, this column uh, on desktop is four, col is four column layout. And on tablet it switches to two column and you can see when you go into each of the column width it's set to 50 on tablet so each of these columns are set to 50 percent however if i decide actually i want to make this full width so each one column structure instead what i would do is click on each column and change that to 100 and you can see now that takes up the full width and these are still set to 50 so um, it's only taking up certain sections but if i were to change that to 100 as well Um, and you can see the that's now taking the full width as well. Um, there's different options that you can do um, as well. Um, when you, when it comes to making something mobile responsive, um, you'll see something called you see this toggle icon here. Um, whenever you see whenever you click on a widget and within the se settings, there's this little icon. Um, it's actually a desktop icon or if it's a tablet icon or it's a mobile icon that means that you can have different settings for different devices so for example if you go into the column uh, width here and you can see there's a mo there's a responsive icon here it means that I can actually change the value of this depending on what device it's on so uh, this is the desktop device 
um, on the tablet the value is 50 and so that means this column will only be 50% when it's a tablet device and on mobile it's 100 so this uh, column will only be 100 if it's a mobile device um, there's certain things you can do this for certain things you can't so you can do this for for example headings um, you can see within within the typography the only the size uh, setting is responsive so I can have different sizes for different uh, devices um, but the color for example will say the same the fa font family will say the same um, and what you can do is change the margin and padding as well um, for different devices so if I were to go into the column structure and then again go into settings and change and go into desktop and if I click to tablet you can see tablet has a different uh, margin setting uh, mobile has a different mar margin setting um, so there's certain settings that will allow you to change the value of depending on what device it is it's usually things like margin and padding you can change the size of things you can change the border width of things so keep an eye out for this uh, little icon here because that'll help you a lot um, when you are designing on mobile things don't need to be as big um, you can have different padding and, and margin sections as well um, so yeah elementary make it really easy uh, to do uh, mobile design and development and making your uh, site responsive and you want to make sure that that is uh, something you think about whenever you do build out your website